Welcome to the channel. The silent memo was intending to show you how backup slides could be used in edit view, the normal edit view, also using slide sorter, and also using the outline view. Naturally, your backup slides would go after your main presentation. So we will go over some points and then we'll go over some more detail using ways to get to the backup slides and then back to your main presentation. Hold on. I'm just going to go ahead and show you my notes, which will hopefully save a little time on getting through this. I've got quite a few points I want to make on this backup slide item, which is not really a part of PowerPoint. It's kind of a like an add-on or an add-in. And my first note here, please refer to my previous videos on hyperlinks and custom shows. We're going to be referring to those later on in the uh, example. Now, the, proce the, the thought process is that if you can make your presentation in 10 slides, you're probably not doing it properly. That is a plus or minus. It kind of depends on where you are and what you're doing, what you're talking about. But you can have a lot more than 10 slides worth of data. You could have 20, 30, 50, maybe even 100 slides of data. But does everyone need to see all 300 slides or 100 slides at one time? Maybe the base 10 or 15 would be your main presentation and the rest you could put into a section called backup slides. And that's what we're going to talk about is how you build those, basically how you get to it, how you get back. As I say here in point D, it's used for more detail than what you want to present in your main presentation. Think of it like a service animal. It's there when and if you need it. You can get very detailed. Don't be worried about space or the number of slides. But do need to be concerned about how are you going to hop from the main presentation to the backup slides and then back to the main presentation. You may have to do that a couple of times, depending on how the project and, and what questions may come up. Because you typically do not want to stay in the backup area. You want to go back to your main presentation. And I will go over five concepts of hopping back and forth so you can do it gracefully, efficiently, and professionally. And you'll need to determine if you want to show all of your backup slides or not. It, it, as I said, it depends. And it could be grouped by any number of ways. I, I have some ideas listed here. Mine are shown, as you've seen in the silent demo, by color. It, there's no fast rule on how to do it. But it's only if the audience wants more data. They want more information. I use this, we use this a lot at work where we would have, example, a budget. We may have 10 or 20 slides of the base slides. We may have another 80 for backup, getting into the nitty gritty. You may want to use a black slide to separate your main presentation from your backup slides, even though the backup slides will be, have their own title slide. It just shows that, hey, this is the end of the main presentation so that there's no confusion between you or anyone else that may look at the presentation in, in its raw form. Try to answer all the questions that you would ask or someone else may ask in the presentation. It will save you time. List your sources. And I've already talked about, I've got a different background in the example that I have. And, and these are the five ways we're gonna talk about in the presentation, I'll go ahead and show you that as far as how you would, or how you could hop from the main presentation to the backup slides and then back. And which method or concept you use just depends on your familiar, familiarity with, power, with PowerPoint, what you're most comfortable with. So now we'll go to the presentation. Okay, and now we're at the presentation and we're gonna show you these examples. You're gonna always typically have an agenda slide. And for this first example, 
I'm showing how you would make a, a symbol, in this case, an arrow, to hyperlink from the main presentation to the backup slides. And then we have another arrow to come back to where we started. So if this is for point one, you just click the hyperlink and now you're at the backup data for point one, whatever that may be. And I, here I have a second slide with some more data. And then this arrow would return back to where we came from. So that would be for your first point, whatever that may be. For point two, just wanted to show you could use any symbol. Here we're using a star and we use a star to return. Pretty simple there. Point three, we made a custom backup show, which is a little bit of overkill, but what this does for you, there's an option in the custom show, as you know, from the previous video, that you can show and return to where you came from. It, so it saves you maybe one click, but it keeps your data for option for point three in one package that you can change the order. You know, if it's you know five or six or seven or more slides, if it's just one or three, it's not that you're spending more effort than what it's worth. But for this example, we're going to click on the triangle. I think we have three backup slides for point three. If you notice here, now we're on 3B. Now we're on 3C. You just imagine the data. And when you click that third time, it goes back to where you started. Just to show you again real quick. Click. You're on B. You're on C. Next time I click, it's going to return. Okay, for the fourth point here, I found this one kind of by accident. I've been looking for it for many weeks and months. But if you press Control S, as in C, S as in Sierra, you get a list of the slides by the heading title. So basically, you just click where you want to go. In this example, let's say we want to go to the last, very last slide last of the backup data, the go to, or you can double click and you're there. And then to get back, you press control S again, and then pick which slide you want to return to, maybe the recap, and you can double click. And remember to only use the slides, backup slides as needed. Let's see, I think I, went over that and then you got a recap slide so those are the ways you can hop back and forth another option that we did not go over because we didn't have an example is to have your slides on a piece of paper you know backup slide number one is this backup slide number two is this and of course you want to have a question and answer period and we mentioned earlier have some separating slide. This doesn't necessarily be black and be white or just, just a plain background to separate the main presentation from the backup slide sections. Yeah, but that is optional. So if you have any questions or comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next video. And try backup slides. They're a lot of fun. You can impress some folks.